Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Umpro Pro here, and you are watching the RPG Maker VX Ace Tutorials. In this episode, you're going to be learning how to save your event's location. First, I'll start off by showing you what you're going to be making. So the first thing you want to do is make a little character. We're going to give him the name Char with a happy face. Then click OK. Next, we're going to create a little event. It doesn't have to be named specifically, but you can name it if you want to. Make sure the trigger is parallel process. Now we're going to create two variables. One called event X and one called event Y. Modify event X, set it to set game data Go to character and find the character that we named, which is Char with a happy face. And we're going to set it to map X. Click OK and click OK. Next, do the same thing for event Y. We're going to go to set, game data, and we're going to find the character we named and we're going to say map Y. Click OK, click OK. Next, we're going to do control cell switch. We're going to turn A on. Then we're going to make a new event page. On that new event page, we're going to check the box over here that says cell switch A is on. Next, we're going to do set event location. You can find that here. Now on set event location, we're going to select the character, or char with a happy face. And we're going to select designation with variables. We're going to set map X to event X. And we're going to set map Y to event Y. We're going to click OK and it should look like this. Next, we're gonna do erase event. This is so that this event repeats after every time you load the map up, or every time you re-enter the room, or every time you load the game. This event will happen one time, and then it'll stop. So we're gonna click okay. Now we're gonna make another event right beside that one. This event is pretty much similar to the first one. It has the same two control variables, except this time it doesn't have cell switch A. This is so that it constantly updates. Make sure this is also a parallel process. All of these events have to be a parallel process. Click OK and run the game. That's all it takes. So thank you guys so much for watching.